So uh, I'm now going to be doing problem five from test one, spring 2020. Uh, so what we're trying to do here is we're saying we want to write code and play the log of the number of confirmed cases versus the number of days since uh, uh, January 21st uh, for China, for the US, and for Italy. Uh, so our first job here is to actually compute the number of cases. So to compute the number of cases, we'll do corona and then we'll do group by. And so what we'll do is we'll group by country and by date. So that way we'll add up all the numbers that are reported for every country on every date, which is what we want. Because what we have right now is just, you know, just the number of cases in New York and in Chicago and so on. We don't have the total for the US, so we need to compute that. And we also want to diseg disaggregate it by the date. So, so uh, we'll group by day since start, since that's kind of what's interesting. So we'll do group by day since start and also country. And we'll compute so this is a summarize rather than a mutate because we have lots of rows, so one per location in each country, and we just want one row per country per date. So we'll say summarize and we'll say total confirmed is just sum of confirmed, right? So that's the sum from all the locations in that country in the date, uh, on the date. So here's what we have. So we have the instant start. So in China, 49, in Japan, two, in South Korea, one, two in Thailand and so on. Okay. So that is gonna be our data. So let's name it C1. And that is what we wanna plot. So to plot, we'll just go ggplot, we'll say C1, and now we can plot uh, various ways. Uh, so let's say that we want uh, to do uh, G um, smooth, let's say. So actually let's specify the mapping here so that we can, we can also plot the points. Uh, so mapping is gonna be like this. So it's gonna be, so X is gonna be days since start and Y is going to be total confirmed. And color is going to be country. And now let's just do geom smooth. Like this. So if we plot things like that, it did not run the geom smooth. So if we plot things, uh, I think I did not close, yeah, did not close this parentheses. Uh, so C1 not found, so we need to run this. And now we can run this. So here we can say uh, method is loss in order to not get the warning. Uh, so we also get a bit of a problem with the singularities here. Uh, so get things like that. So actually we just wanted country uh, to be China, US, and Italy. So let's filter it. We can filter kind of either way. So we'll do filter and we'll say, so we can use our new nifty in operator in order to do it. So in US and China and Italy. So now that's going to be our C1. I think this is a mess. This is not doing a job. So day since start not available. That's interesting. So let's see what's happening. Oh, because I did not say five here. Okay. So let's see what C1 is like now. So we seem to just be getting data for China, the US, 
uh, and probably Italy somewhere there as well, but maybe not right away. So now we can try to run this again, and that, that should go much easier because we just have the three countries and we have this. So you don't really see the uh, Italy curve, presumably because it's just overlaid by the US curve. Uh, so now we want to scale the axis. So we want to scale the y axis. So we'll say scale y log 10, like so. So that's going to display uh, kind of nicely. Uh, so we might then say GG title. So number of confirmed cases since January 21st, 2020 or something like that. So let's try this. Okay, so now that's displayed. Uh, so we might be a little bit unhappy about the uh, labels here. So we would say Uh, okay, well, so we'll leave it to this for now. I do not actually remember how to do the labels. So we'll stop here. Uh, you can look up how to change the labels. Okay, I have looked up one way to change the label. So another way, of course, is to just uh, to change the names of the columns, but I didn't really want to do it, which is why I wanted to do it the other way. Uh, so you can specify name here. So here we kept the scale Y log 10, and we also specified the name. And we specified the name in scale X continuous. So the only thing here that changed is that I also specified the name. So that is one way. Uh, I think in lecture we saw another way to do it. So that is 